If you or a loved one have experienced breathing issues, low stamina, um, any of those types of things, you may benefit from Sanford Health's Pulmonary Rehabilitation Program. Dr. Paladugo is joining me today to help share some tips to help you breathe a little easier. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. This is a very timely issue. I know we just went through a pandemic where a lot of people had challenges with breathing and pulmonary issues. So um, I'm curious, what is the pulmonary rehabilitation program? What kind of things can you get out of that? So pulmonary rehab program is a program focused on improving patient symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigue, um, improve their quality of life in general, reduce mortality, reduce hospitalizations in patients with chronic lung problems like COPD, mm -hmm. asthma, post-COVID, lung fibrosis, to mention a few diagnoses. So the main components in pulmonary rehab are exercise, education, and behavioral changes. So for exercise, we focus mainly on muscles of ambulation, uh, respiratory muscles. Mm -hmm. um, they do different types of exercises like endurance, uh, strengthening exercises, resistance exercises. So what happens with uh, chronic lung problems is when you're short of breath, you don't want to do more activity. Right. Then you start to get more fatigue, your muscles get deconditioned, and then it's a cycle that builds in. So you want to break that cycle. Uh, so all these different exercise can help with you know breaking that cycle. And then regarding education, we uh, focus on uh, uh, educating them about their medications, the inhalers they use, oxygen, the most important thing, smoking cessation. Mm. We also talk about nutrition. Uh, there'll be a nutritional therapist there who will come in and educate patients about uh, balanced diet. And then physician will give monthly education sessions as well. And also we talk about advanced care planning. Um, so regarding behavioral changes, patients with uh, chronic lung problems, they are more prone to have anxiety, depression, Interesting. So, yeah, so again, it's the same. When you are short of breath, uh, then you start to get anxious. And when you are anxious, your breathing will be shallow. So you don't want to take deep breaths. And then that creates more short of breath. So there's like under, another cycle that wow. creates in. So we want to bre break that cycle as well. So we talk them about uh, mindfulness, you know, deep breathing exercises, other strategies to deal with stress and anxiety. I love that you're taking a holistic approach because it seems like this is the kind of situation where you almost build yourself so much into a hole. You're not breathing well, so you're like, I don't want to get exercise. I don't want to leave the house because I have anxiety. And you just, you get to this place where you do need a whole lifestyle change to be able to deal with it. Um, you mentioned COPD and asthma. Are there any other kinds of illnesses that make someone a good candidate for this? Yeah, so we see quite a few of patients now with uh, post-COVID. Those patients mm -hmm. who have, uh, they continue to have symptoms even four weeks after having a, a, a COVID, like shortness of breath, cough. So those are good candidates to be referred to pulmonary rehab. We see patients with cystic fibrosis, interstitial lung disease, post-transplant, lung transplant patients. So basically any patient who has chronic lung problem can be referred there. Uh, and uh, Medicare covers, you know, uh, patients with these chronic lung problems if they qualify. Yeah, and we had mentioned um, the anxiety that people have and the stress like that. And I'll say when I was young, uh, and I, I kind of grew out of it, I had asthma um, when I'd exercise. And so it is a very scary, kind of traumatic thing when all of a sudden you can't breathe. And that's something you feel like you don't have control over. So I'm really interested in kind of the, how do you work through that trauma and that psychological side of it? Yeah, many a times it comes to simple things like that mindfulness, uh, taking like when you are getting you know the short of breath, you are stressed out. You know those deep breathing exercises. The good thing with pulmonary rehab program is you work in group sessions, so you learn from each other as well. Um, and then uh, we teach them about using those rescue inhalers when you are getting more short of breath. You know how to use those rescue inhalers, and also we talk about things like how to s save your energy. You know where you have to focus your energy when you are more short of breath, especially if you have like end stage COPD. Mm -hmm you know, how to save that energy. So if somebody is involved in this program, say that they have COPD or asthma, how long is the program? Um, kind of what yeah. is the time frame someone's looking at for it? So typically a program lasts from four to 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a patient can get up to 72 life sem lifetime sessions uh, wow. in the pulmonary rehab program. The patients get most benefit when they continue to do some of these um, 
um, you know, activities or education they learn in, in the program, they continue to, to do that at home. So that's when they get most benefit. And patients, even after they're done with program, if they want to continue in the program, they can uh, continue uh, in the pulmonary rehab program for a nominal fee. Like they can do it twice a week or thrice a week. Just like you go to a gym, you can continue to come and sure. do a uh, program there, yeah. Wow, Dr. Palajigu, thank you so much for coming. Because I think this is something that, you know, a lot of people, a lot more people than you would think actually deal with this. So if you need to get in touch with Sanford Health, you can do that on their website um, or just give them a call and set up an appointment. Thank you again for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Coming up on today's show, how one family's tragic loss is bringing awareness to drunk driving.